In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at some rolling period questions that show up on U.S. Coast Guard license exams. These are, of course, the deck officer side of things. We're going to be looking at a book that's probably familiar to you, most of the industry insiders out there. We have a blue hardcover textbook published by Cornell Maritime Press. This is Stability and Trim for the Ship's Officer, 4th edition. And we're going to be specifically looking at pages 89 through 95 for our particular stability topic here, which is, again, the relationship between a vessel's metacentric height, or GM, and rolling period. There it is. That's our formula. So let's take a look at a transverse cross-section here and break down the different parts of the formula. GM, or metacentric height, is a vertical distance. It's a measurement that runs between two points that are perpendicular to the vessel's center line, and that's G, the center of gravity of a vessel, and above it, M, which is the transverse metacenter of a vessel. So the GM informs us a little about a ship's general rolling behavior. So if you have a larger GM, if the distance is greater, then you have a stiff or snappy rolling motion, whereas if you have a shorter GM, if the M is a lot lower relative to the G, you have a tender or slow and easy roll. In order to calculate our GM, we need a variable B, which is the beam or transverse width of our vessel, B, and we also need our T, which is our rolling period time in seconds. So a rolling period is a full rolling cycle from side to the other side and then all the way back to the beginning side. So you need to make sure that you're accounting for the entire roll. That's T and it's measured in seconds. So let's do a sample problem. This is one that shows up on the Coast Guard problem list and it's number 10324. Your vessel measures 125 feet long by 17 feet in beam. If the natural rolling period at a draft of seven foot nine inches is six seconds, what is the GM or metacentric height? So let's plug our formula in we need the beam and the time in seconds. So right away you can kind of see that there's some red herring material in this question. You don't really need the distance for the length and you don't need the draft depth here. What we do need is the 17 foot in beam measurement. Okay, so our beam B equals 17 feet. And we'll set that up in our problem area. And we also need our time, our T. Looking for T, which is six seconds. So that's our natural rolling period, six seconds. So the time it takes for us to go side to side and then back to the original side, that's six seconds. So we have a beam of 17 and a time of six. So plugging our values into our equation, we can say GM is equal to 0 0.44 times 17 feet divided by 6 seconds all squared. So let's write it here in our workspace. 0.44 times 17 divided by 6 squared, which simplifies to 1.24 squared. And that gives us a final value of 1.55 feet being the answer. Okay. Let's take another look at another example. So question two here is from U.S. Coast Guard 10322. Your vessel has a displacement of 10,000 tons. It is 350 feet long and has a beam of 55 feet. You have timed its rolling period to be 15.0 seconds. What is your vessel's approximate GM? Again, we're going to use our formula and we're going to be looking for the beam, which is here, beam of 55 feet. So we have 55 for our beam, draw that in. And we're going to be looking for our second variable, T, which is our rolling period. In 15 seconds is the answer for that one. So T equals 15. That's our rolling period from side to side back to the other side. And our 
full formula is going to look like this. We got 0.44 times 55 divided by 15 all squared. Simplify that to 1.61 squared and then our final answer being 2.60 feet. So as you can see with these two examples, the formula is pretty much all there is to it. You just got to plug in the two variables and you're ready to go. We'll be making more videos on a variety of topics, so please stay tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for watching.